Hello, I'm Fuse from Exile. This is Attacks in Exile, and this is the final installment of our war, Exiled Warlords, against the clan Fury Warriors. It seems like every player in Town Hall 8 goes through a dragon phase, and toward the point to where they start to get to be a max out Town Hall 8, or at least toward the end of Town Hall 8, we tend to transition from dragon attacks to hog attacks. Dragon attacks are easy against the right bases. Centauri is gonna destroy this base, and she's not even funneling her dragons at all. She comes in from behind the air sweeper after zap quaking the air defense on the opposite side of the base. As soon as the dragons begin to lay cover, she releases clan castle balloons to help take out the air defense. After that point, it's really all just about spell placement. I also like to use my barbarian king to try and distract the air focusing point defenses such as wizard towers or archer towers if possible. This attack may have looked simple, it may have looked like it didn't have any finesse, but Centauri's been doing this a while. She knows where to place her dragons, she knows where to drop her spells. None of us are infallible, we all make mistakes, we all fail attacks, but those of us who learn from those failed attacks are the ones who move on to be great attackers. Nice job, Centauri. Here's one of my attacks. Like I said, I'm transitioning from dragons to hogs. Here's uh, one of the hog attacks that I did. As a Town Hall 8, attacking a Town Hall 8 with hogs, there are two major concerns. The clan castle troops, you must take them out, and any possibilities for double giant bombs. You want to either trip those with as minimal loss as possible, or avoid them altogether if you can. In this case, this was a cleanup attack. I knew there were no double giant bombs really to be a threat at all. So I just went for it. I've mentioned to you guys before, I was at Town Hall 10 when war was introduced to the game. So this is a new experience for me coming up through Town Hall 8 and eventually through Town Hall 9. And until war came out, I was all about farming. And for me, it's YouTube videos from One Hive, from Power Bang, and my own clan mates, Cinnabuns, Ian. These guys are great attackers and I've learned a lot from them. Some of the lower level guys too, like Muhad and Dark Knight. Now, I may know enough about Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 to fake my way through enough of these attacks and make it look like I almost know what I'm doing, but it's you guys who have taught me how to use hogs. Until I started doing wars with this account, I never really had much use for hogs aside from the times that I needed them for clan castle luring. I just want to thank you guys for bringing what you do to the clan. Now, how about another dragon attack by Centauri? Again, she zap quakes the air defense that's farthest away and she enters from the side with two air defenses so that her dragons can t get in and take them out as soon as possible. She didn't come in from behind the air sweeper this time, but she did hit it from an angle to where it won't be a threat to her. You don't even have to lure the clan castle when you do this. At this level, it's almost always a dragon in there and your dragons will outnumber it. In fact, it may even pull some of your dragons further into the core. Great job, Centauri, on a six-star war. All right, now let's watch another one of my hog attacks. Step one, lure and kill the clan castle dragon. I choose to do this without poison so that I may use that on the trap scalies, which are likely to be in the core of the base. As long as you keep dropping a barbarian directly underneath the dragon, you can circle it with a few wizards and they'll shoot it down. The dragon will keep going for the barbarian. On occasion, you may lose one or two wizards, so don't make the mistake of clumping your wizards all together. You definitely want to encircle the dragon. In the case of this attack, I lure the dragon to the southern tip and I kill it there. The reason I do this is because I want to enter the base from the south side. The wizards that shot down the dragon, I want them to survive for as long as possible. So I'm going to release a couple of giants here and there as a distraction, and then the hogs are going to come up behind the giants and take out those defenses. Hopefully you've got a few more wizards in your back pocket and enough survive from the beginning of the attack that you can spread them around. They can become support slash cleanup troops. Notice I drop my poison spells in the core right on top of the skellies. So 
So yeah, there you have it. Another six star war for uh, Tucon. I'm happy about that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.